Have you ever thought about wanting to do something but didn't know how you were going to do it or thought there were too many obstacles in the way? A lot of people go through this. That's what I'm going to talk about tonight. How I turned a dream into a reality. The way I made a commitment to it. And a commitment is striving to a single purpose, not knowing exactly how you're going to get there, but knowing any obstacles that get in your way, you will be able to overcome those obstacles. You may not know how to get there, but you'll figure out a way. This is what happened to me, and what I'm going to share with you th this evening is a, just a little bit about how I brought On Course. On Course is a student-centered teaching and learning program that was developed by a gentleman by the name of Skip Downing, and I use the book on, in my class um, here on campus. And my goal, and I'll explain to you how it happened, was to bring this on campus and to embed it in a lot of different courses on campus, not just the counseling college success classes, but other classes. So let me share with you how I did that. It started, it started back in 2007. I was asked by my, my, one, of my, uh, one of my supervisors if I wanted to go to an on-course conference. And I was relatively new at that point, and I had no idea what on-course was. I said, sure, I'll go. So I went to the first conference, and they have a tremendous amount of workshops, very engaging workshops. It's not just lectures, but actually getting people to engage in activities in the workshops. So I went through that, and after the first, work, the first conference, I was hooked. I knew this was something that I wanted to, to pursue. So I attended the second year. And at the end of every conference, Skip Downing, who's the author of, this, of this, the book and the program, he said at the end, he said, I want you to all dig down deep, and I want you to make a commitment, something that you want to do to improve the student's life on your campus through student success, through retention, retention being keeping students in classes. I want you to dig deep. So I thought to myself, I think I want to bring on course to West Valley College. Now back to what I started this saying, I didn't have any idea how I was going to do this. I had no idea, and it seemed awful big, but he got me really riled up, and I thought, boy, I'm going to do this. So I left the, I left the workshop, and I went back to the campus, and I started thinking about it. So the following year, I invited two or three faculty members to join me. So a couple two or three faculty members joined me. And from there, we started a movement on campus where we've had five different on-course workshops, people coming in and presenting to our faculty. One of them, in fact, was for the classified faculty, our fat classified staff. We've had instructors on our campus do many workshops on our campus for other instructors. We've had instructors go out to other conferences and present this information, how, what, how, they've, how they've put this into their classes. We have, to date, I think, had over 120 faculty and classified staff going through one workshop or another. The last two years, we've actually had two, uh, a number of our faculty, they've actually gone to the on-course workshop and presented what they've been doing here at West Valley College. So it's been, it's been, it's been pretty incredible. I, I was very, very surprised by it. From there, we have, um, it's been embedded in, I've got, uh, let's see, our first year, first year experience program, our Puente and Success programs, our college success classes. And to give you an idea, in my college success class in counseling in general, we run about a 50% retention rate. For those of you not familiar with that, that means 50% of our students start at the beginning of the class and end at the end, which is not very good, 50%. Since I've been using this on-course program in the book, my, my retention rate has risen to 65 to 75 percent, 15 to 25 percent increase, which is pretty, pretty substantial students staying in my class. So that's, that's, that's pretty amazing statistic, at least for me. Um, so currently, currently, we have, we're being, this is being used in our counseling classes, math, English, biology, physics, reading, English as a second language, healthcare technology, fashion, fashion design, and also our tutoring center. So again, I think it's pretty embedded on our campus. 
I always find it interesting because a uh, young woman talking earlier about flow, this is one of the things we talk about and, and intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, those are all the things that we talk about. And so I thought it was kind of interesting she did that. I also find it's kind of interesting because every so often I'll bring up a topic in class, I'll talk about the wise choice process. Somebody will raise their hand, they go, God, you know, we did that in math. I kind of smile and I thought, yeah, I'm not surprised you did. So anyway, it's, it, it's, been used, it's being used all over. Um, what I'd like to end with is one of my colleagues shared with me a story. At the end of our semester, we oftentimes have our students write some kind of a student success story. And this young man who wrote this story, he's a 33-year-old single dad. He's got three daughters, and he's trying to work two to three jobs and go to school at the same time. And this is what he wrote. Some of the terms you may not be totally f familiar with because they're terms we use in class and in the book, but I think you'll get the gist of it. Walking into class on my first day was very overwhelming. So much was running through my head like, you're just way too old for this. No way are you going to pass this class. How are you going to go to school and feed your family? The required book for this class was on course by Skip Downing. What an amazing book. It's a gold mine of skills and perspectives and all the things I needed. I knew that day I was in the right place for me. I changed my mindset and got rid of my stinking thinking attitude, re rediscovered my growth mindset, and silenced my inner critic. Chapter 2, ex Accepting Personal Responsibility, was a great chapter. I know I'm a reasonable person, Dad, but not so much a student. That's where Chapter 3 really kicked into effect. It changed my inner conversation from negative to a much more positive outlook. My mindset changed dramatically, my journals improved, and my learning skills plans were better than ever because I was looking at things differently than I had before. That's what he wrote. So what I would like to challenge all of you this, e this evening is to dig deep, think about something that you might challenge yourself, something you might set for yourself, some goal, not knowing how you're going to do it, but knowing that you'll be able to overcome the obstacles and make it happen. Thank you.